now let's take up the database service which is dynamo db so another type of databases that we are having is key value database so in key value database amazon will be basically giving you an ability where you can create a database where you want to have a latency in one digit milliseconds so this is kind of databases that are uh, you know offered by your dynamo db and the another major difference between the rds and this is this is sql kind of databases and the dynamo db offers you not only sql databases so it is more than sql features that you are getting in case of your dynamo db so this is also one of the you know uh, very popular service which is there in the market so we will understand about this particular service in detail amazon offers you this key value kind of databases in the form of the service called dynamo db now as i have told you that rds is a sql service and dynamo db is a no sql service that is not only sql service so what is the difference between both of them so first of all uh, when it is actually a sql service you are able to support oltp data warehousing o and uh, o olap and ad hoc queries are supported over here when it is sql kind of services but with no sql kind of services web scale applications are only supported but the benefit that you get out of this in sql whenever you are designing a table you need to define the exact structure of the table that in which the data will be stored right what name phone number address you need to define the exact format name has to be character um, age has to be number like this ev everything has to be defined so it is a well defined structure that you need to provide if you want to have a sql database but if you have a requirement where you do not have actually a structured database available okay or you have a semi structured data that has to be stored you are not aware what will be the structure of the table you do not have any structure available so then you can have this no sql databases where every row in the table can have a different structure actually we call it as item in dynamo db but then they can have different structure every row that is the flexibility that i am having so if you have a semi structured data to be stored which are related to each other we will have a primary key so one field has to be fixed so we can have a primary key and a sort key that can be defined but rest fields can be anything so some may have two parts some may have three some may have 10 information so you can have a semi structured data that can be stored in a not only sql kind of databases when it comes to the access the sql has this structured query language like uh, select star from like this kind of statements you know we issue to fetch the data from the table create update statements are there but when it comes to no sql we have actually got the apis and the cli via which we can manage our dynamo db access uh, databases i'll show you the which api what is what is the structure create item delete item update item it's like that so i'll show you on a, one of the slide okay so this is the major difference between both of them and another difference that is there is on the scaling part with rds you can have only vertical scaling with no sql you can even have horizontal scaling on the database so that means multiple database will be functional and will be responding to the queries which are coming from the users so you can have a cluster of databases over here and this structure can automatically scale so you can have multiple instances added to the cluster who may respond to the queries which are coming from the user so this horizontal scaling is supported in dynamo db not in your rds dynamo db is a fully managed no sql database service offered by aws in this there is no database actually into it there are only tables there are individual tables which are created so it is a non relational kind of structure that we are going to create there will be no group of tables binded inside the database it will be single single tables which will be created and each row or you can say each record in the table is known as item so this is a item 
this item may have some attributes another item may have different attributes another item will have another attributes it could have be same it could be different so in dynamo db the concept is same only thing is that instead of row we call it as item instead of fields we call it as attributes we call them as attribute the one of the very beautiful feature that dynamo db has is time to leave in dynamo db you can set time to leave for the records so that means if there is a record entry created in the dynamo db table there if there is a item created i can define the ttl and after that ttl this record will be automatically deleted from the table so this is one of the feature that is available so we can set up the time to leave to delete the items automatically in the table once they expire so suppose if we have a password which is time bound valid only for maybe 7 hours so i can set up a time to leave to 7 hours so i do not have to create a script to delete a certain record after 7 hours i do not have to create any kind of these things it can be automatically done with the ttl feature that is time to leave you can perform just like your sql databases you can perform create insert update query scan delete on these dynamo db tables also but then it cannot be done via sql it has to be done via the appropriate apis that are available okay the apis are listed on another slide so these are the apis that we will be discussing about later so but before that let's understand the data structure in dynamo db as i have told you that every item so this is a item every item mandatory have a primary key that is a, sorry a partition key and can have a sort key and a combination of both of these makes up a primary key so you can have a primary key and a sort key if there are two keys which are available based on that the whole table will be sorted so on the basis of sort key the table will be sorted on the basis of primary key the unique identification of the items will be maintained and then you see the schema is defined per item the structure of the table is defined per item so over here this is some information provided for this particular item another kind of information for this invasion and of privacy so over here i have provided the name over here i have provided the name of the album so over here i have provided the name of the singer probably and this is the name of the album that i am providing so it's different every item is different so schema for every item is different when it comes to dynamo db it is a semi structured data that is stored over here whereas in sql it is a highly structured data which is stored in exam when it comes now you have to be very careful with the terminology that they are using so over here you see uh, on the page of dynamo db most of the times i have seen in the questions that if you want to have see the benefits that are there so they will ask you that uh, your company is planning to build a application which is business critical application and it is actually requiring you know see over some statements over here your company is planning to make a application which is cloud native application and seeks to use fully managed services by amazon to increase the agility and reduce the time to the market to minimize the operational overhead so if you have such kind of statement in your exam dynamo db is your answer so you have to see these pages of the exam uh, you know uh, aws when you are going for the exam i have seen many times these statements the statements like so if it is a banking and finance if it is a retail if it is an ad tech company so you will get a question that your company is a advertising company and are looking for ad tech vertical use where key value you can have this particular key value store for storing the various kind of marketing datas where they want to have a real time bidding application to be created so such questions comes into exam so please go through this particular pages for rds and for dynamo db and for elastic sha before going to the exam okay
So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Amazon AWS Solution Architect Certification for Beginners. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why and who should learn AWS, cloud services, deployment models, and AWS services as well. And the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs, job opportunities, along with Docker and Kubernetes in AWS, and amazing, amazing stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AWS SA02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of page. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.